Hello everybody and welcome to something a little bit different. This is a game called Polyball. It's on Early Access on Steam and this game is like... If you've ever played any games like Super Monkey Ball or Marble Madness or like Marble Blast or Marble, Marble Blast Ultra, which was on the Xbox 360 arcade for a time, then this game like, if you like those games, you'll love this game. It's the same sort of style with the ball rolling around and stuff, and it's just really fun. It's, it's like, I haven't seen a game like this in quite some time, so it's really refreshing to see this. I've only played the first level and the tutorial level, just to test out how I can record this and stuff. So we're gonna go straight into this. And I'm just gonna show off a little bit of the game. This game is really freaking cool. And let's see. This game's not hard to control at all. As you can tell, it's just the simple get to the end of the goal thing. And as you can see on the side over here, this game has times. This game's very friendly to like speed runners and stuff. And. From what I've heard, speedrunners really like this game as well. It sort of reminds me of like Trials in that regards. Which is weird, but still, that's what it reminds me of. The game's fairly simple too, you just roll down and there's a bunch of stuff you can collect. Like these little shard things, which I think you can use for um... I think you can use to like buy customizations for the marble ball thing and just, I don't know, do a bunch of different things with it. It's very interesting, and I'm sucking going down here right now, but that's fine. Whoa. It's it's really hard to decide if you want to like go around and collect all this stuff, or if you want to get to the end as fast as possible, because I'm not sure how, um, how noticeable it is, but you can go very fast, very quickly. And ooh, we got an achievement. You have died. Uh, this game, they recommend, like, they recommend using a controller for this game, but I'm using keyboard, and just keyboard controls work just fine. I just went straight into the water. Oh well. Hmm. There, there seems to be quite a bit of, like, exploration in the level design, too, which is very interesting. They do have one hidden collectible. I believe it's trophies, if I remember the tutorial right. They have trophies hidden in every level. And we haven't found one. I'm, I'm trying to decide if we should look for one, or if we should just keep on going with, like... Just going through the levels and showing them off. I'm, I'm, I kind of want to go through the levels. Like, I know I'm not doing the best right now, but I just really want to see more of this game. Even though spending time on these kind of levels is honestly really cool. I mean, yeah, it looks a little simple and polygonal, and wow, we overshot that way. But it looks simple and polygonal and stuff, but that just gives it, like, a charm to it. And it looks really good. Like, the entire style fits well. Never go full, Petard. <laughs> uh, we're not getting even in the top 10, but, you know, that's alright. Nice and slow forest level. Uh, there, there are a few, like, glitches that I've had with this game. Like, the first time I've opened it, my sound didn't work, but... Just remember, this is an early access game, and for what it has so far, it's really good. And okay, we went all the way down here. That must mean there's like a trophy or something down here if we can go here. I don't know, most of the cliffs just led to water before. At least I think so. So, it makes me think there's like something hidden down here. And... I'm, I'm not sure how big they are on how hidden their trophies are, but, I mean, this would be a perfect spot for one, like around here somewhere. I wonder if there's like an alternate route to, 
get to the ending. I'm, I'm not sure. Let's just restart. Oh, wait. Never mind. I see the trophy way up there. I have no idea how to get up there, though. Like, ah, darn it. Like I said, you, you end up going really fast, really quickly. Okay, the end of the level is over there. There's a trophy up there, though. I, I really like just showing to like showing off to get one or showing off getting one I'm not sure how I can do that though it's up so much higher than everything else you would need to like oh wait okay can we get up there no that I didn't jump seriously though if you've ever played like I'm gonna say Marble Blast Ultra because that's the most recent game I could think of that was in this style. And I, that might have been on PC, but I don't think it was. It was on the Xbox 360 though, on the Xbox Live Arcade. It, it was on there for a long time and then it went off of the store. So I'm pretty sure you can't buy it anymore, even if you want it. Which sucks, because it was a really cool game. It was one of my favorite games that I, like... Like, I think it was the first game I've ever bought off of the Xbox Live Arcade, just because I had that much fun with it. I don't know, it's something about these games where, like, the simplicity gets, um... I don't know. The simplicity makes it all that more awesome to me. And it's not even really simplicity as much as it is just like, here's some simple controls and here's what you do, just get from one place to the end, and then it makes that so much deeper. I, okay, I lost that one platform that we were aiming for, or that I was aiming for, to get up there. Whoa, whoa, don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay, I'm, I, I don't see the platform to get over there. I know it was around here. At least I thought it was. Oh well, let's just go straight to the end. We'll probably find another trophy in another level. Okay. Uh, as, as you can tell, I'm not the best at these, but that's what makes them so fun. Just like, if you just want to have fun with the physics of this entire thing, that's just really fun on its own. Like, just having a marble or ball, I keep saying marble because it reminds me of Marble Blast Ultra, or like, it reminds me of Super Monkey Ball 2, but not to, not as much. Also reminds me of Marble, um, Marble Madness, which was also a really cool game that I never played enough of. Like, I've only played it a little bit. Damn it! So close. I only played it just a little bit, and I don't know. This is just like a great sp spiritual successor to all those games. And it's... I, I encourage anyone to check this out. Like... Even if you're not really, even if you never played those games, or you're not really sure about it, check this out. How did they beat this in eight seconds? Th those people are, those people are gods. That's the only explanation. Uh, I'm, I'm, I get really competitive with these kind of games too, which makes me want to be a lot better at them, and... I want to focus on the speed, since that's the thing you see the most, but I really want to collect everything too. So it makes it really... I don't know, there's a lot you can do in the levels that is different for like everyone. Like if you want to collect all these shard things and not really focus on speed, you can. There's... I think the things on the side are how many you actually collect. No, we ran into the water. We were going so fast. Yeah, I think these... There's 86 of those shard things in the level. And I'm pretty sure you use them to... I think I already said this, but you use them to buy different custom parts for the thing. You could get, like, even different effects after it. 
it's not complete yet, like, sometimes they'll break and stuff, but you can do it. I already customized my ball a little bit just by making it green, but that was just the color. It wasn't, like, you could get different textures and stuff. And, okay. Uh, I, oh, wow. The world's best on the side is 22 to 42. Wow, that's such a big difference. I'm going to retry this really quickly because, like I said, I'm very competitive when it comes to these kind of games. Like, I really want to be one of the... Like, if a game gives me a score and says I can do better or I can get gold, I have to at least try to. Like, it's a lot of reason I don't play app games anymore, because I just end up getting addicted and I just have to beat it. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a problem I have. Uh, I remember Flappy Bird, like, just to talk about another game for a quick second, Flappy Bird, I got up to around 130-something things just because I wanted bronze. Or, not bronze, gold. And this offers a gold medal too, which I want. That I keep falling in the water. The water, like, makes you lose all of your speed. Which is sort of weird. I really like going fast too. Just the speed and everything. This game is just really, really cool. Like, I don't know how much I can say that. I mean, even with the few bugs and glitches it has here and there, it's still really fun and no! <laughs> no, I completely missed that. <laughs> okay, one more try before we go on to the next level. This level is actually really cool too. It's like... I'm pretty sure this is the first one that isn't a forest that we've seen. Which is really interesting. The environments are probably... I know I, I... I've only played, like, before this, I've only played just the tutorial level on the first level. But I did look at the level names, and there's one called v Volcano. Which I just... I'm really interested to see how that is. And wow, we got excellent speed up there on the side. Going fast? You go so fast! This is actually, like, really hard to control. Like, hard to control in a good way. Like, you should be going that fast. It should be hard to control. Almost got a gold. Mmm, that's so... Ah! That's aggravating. I mean... Th this game is gonna get hours out of me. And... Just the, like... I was saying there's already so much to do in the le- Oh, wow. Wow, this is like Limbo World. This is really, really cool. It's like, okay, jeez, this is actually- Wow. This level just blew me away. Whoa, whoa, no! Ah, I moved the camera. Huh, we're down here. That that's a little that's a little like not really annoying as much as it is just I don't know. Just like when you fall you just hit another place. I kinda wish it would instantly kill you, but it also gives you like time to explore the level, so I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. Also, we might actually be going down here. I'm not exactly sure where the level ends. Hmm. Oh, let's go again. This level, though, it's really... This, this is, like, excellent level design. At least in my opinion. I mean, this just shows all the stuff you can sort of do differently with the game like this. And this is, I think, only, like, the first sort of group of levels, or chapter, I guess, since we did go into story mode. Which, it, I mean, I'll be surprised if this game ends up actually having a story. So, it's just more of just like, here's the group of levels in the order we want you to 
do them in. Which is perfectly fine by me. I mean, I need... I, I, I sort of need that because I have to perfect them all. Oh, okay. Ah. This is really hard. I should be going slower, probably. Actually, I'm gonna not hit the control to, like, go forward. I want to see if it just takes us all the way to the end. Nah, we're, we're slowing down. We actually do have to move forward ourselves. Still, though. This is really cool. Like, I could only say that so many times, but I really can't repeat it enough. This game is such a cool thing. It's such a... Ah, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's something that I haven't seen for, like, since... I haven't seen it done new or look this good in a long time. Like, again, my only frame of reference for one that's recent... No, no, no. Jeez, this is actually getting a little nerve-wracking. Um, as I was saying, though, the old... Oh, okay. Uh, I, these, these, like, loop stumps are really scaring me. You could probably get all those shards on one go of the... No, no. Uh, my camera sort of gl not glitzed, but it sort of went into the wall there. Still, though, you can get all of those stars in probably one go at this if you're really that good. And true speed, we are going so fast. Whoa, we, like, we broke the sound barrier at some point. 13 seconds! 13 seconds is, like, wow, these people are freaking amazing. 12 seconds is the best. That's even more amazing. Trophy is hidden in each level. Can you find them all? I've only seen that one, and I have no idea how to get to it. Ooh, the underground. This is, this is interesting. These levels really are varied, like, I was expecting to see some, like, forest levels, or just, like, not exactly, okay, that's a boost pad, that is a boost pad, that is awesome. Wow, that was, wow, no! No, we ah, uh, that sucks. I missed the like thing at the end, but still, oh my god, that was cool. Look at how fast we're going. Jeez, I can't even like, I can barely control this. Ah, oh, lost like all our speed. That was so. Uh, that was freaking awesome. You know what, we're gonna retry that one because that was just really unexpected and cool. There's only four of the star things in this level. There's one, two, three. I wonder where the last one is. Probably up here somewhere. Okay, yes, we're doing- yeah, there it is. Uh, if you can go fast and get all the shards, that would be like- You'd have to be really amazing at this. And we got gold. Uh, this is really fast. Yeah. Sector 4, abstract. Oh, okay. Like, I I'm, I'm keep wondering when to actually, like, end this, but I don't want to end up... Oh, okay, that, that was... Hey, that actually killed me. This is really... Oh my god. This is why I wanted to do a, like, first impression sort of video. Because look at this. Look at this. This is so freaking amazing. I'm, I'm really bad at these, like, platforming le- I'm really bad at these platforming levels. But still, this is so freaking- uh, I- I- Look at- it. All I can say is, look at this. I mean, it fits the style really well, too. At least in my opinion, it looks like the whole, like, everything sort of has edges style. Like, everything's sort of sharp. 
it fits really well with that. Okay, going slow is not working, so how about we go fast? Come on. Ah, there's no walls. This level's a little, like, unforgiving, it looks like. Okay. Okay, we have to turn there. Ah, I, I'm, I'm, being, I'm getting mad at myself for not finishing this because I just want to see more of this level. I'm, I'm doing really badly. Okay, there we go. There we go, turn! Turn! Uh, I'm really afraid to move the camera, too. Like, I feel like if I move it, I'll just end up messing myself up. Okay. Don't go- Don't go too far! Uh-huh. Let's roll. This is really... Um, oh, just, just to say while it's on my mind, another reason this reminds me of Trials is because of the quick reset. Although, I think that's in most games like this, but still. The quick, like, respawn right now to go right back to the beginning. It's... that... just... Any, any game that does that reminds me of Trials, because that's like, that's the game where I find it so much, so much more prevalent. Uh, there, there's no way I'm going to beat this level, like, at all. I, I want to beat it, though. I want to beat this level at the very least. I, or I at least want to get further into it. Like, it looks like it goes red and then it goes inside a spire or cave thing. And that just looks really cool. Like that blue area that we're slowly inching towards. I'm doing horrible, but this is so... Uh, it, it's really hard not to get angry at a game like this. Like, this is a game that will probably make you rage quit, but again, it does it in the sort of way where it's like, I want to punch my computer screen, but in a good way. Like, it, it's hard, but I feel like it's good hard! <laughs> <laughs> the music just stops. The music here is actually really cool too, like, I don't know, it just fits in with it. It's, it's very, I don't know, I, I, it's not calming exactly, but it's very like, it's, I, I don't know how to describe it, it's like relaxing. Like, I say relaxing as I'm getting mad at the game, um, it's, it's really hard to put a word on it just going from, like, my first impression alone. Okay, here we go. <sighs> okay, we're gonna try one more time. We're going to try one more time, and if it doesn't happen, it just doesn't happen. I'll, I'm, I'm fine with that. Because I do want to show off a little bit more of the game. Okay, it, it, it's it's not happening. It, it's just not happening, so let's go back to the main menu. But still, that level looks freaking... Ah, oh, we're almost done with the Sector Zero. We're not even at one yet. Uh, zero Marathon? You need to enter the Sector. You don't have enough medals. You have 11 but need 20. Uh, still, though. Anyways, there, there's story mode. There's extra levels. Like, as I said, I was doing the tutorial level earlier. And I actually got... Ooh. I'm in number three spot for the time on the tutorial levels. I mean, that's impressive, sort of. I, I think. I, I haven't played any of these levels, but... I don't know, just seeing what the levels are now... 
it looks really cool. Just like, th there's a lot to do. And there's a multiplayer. Multiplayer where you could do like, multiplayer in these types of games tends to be different from like the actual sort of story mode levels or single player levels. But it's still a lot of fun. Like, it's surprisingly really fun. That was also one of my favorite things of Marvel Blast Ultra. Uh, I, I play like a match, but I, I don't know how many people would actually be online right now. Or like how long it would take to get in a match. But I'll probably set something up soon and make a video on that too. That could be a video all on its own. It might. I'm, I'm probably going to do a lot more videos of this. But for now, I just want to show off just the customization. Because the customization is really cool. I actually think we have we have 43 shard things, so I think we could buy this. Price of item 15, we'll have 28 left over? Let's buy it. Let's go to Bumpy. Okay, that looks weird. <laughs> that looks awesome. Can we like uh we can't preview them, but this is like just the sort of different skins you can get. It's really cool. Lionhead, classic car, Rick's ball. Just the different types of skins are like something I've never seen in this game either. And then you can have different textures for them. I have like a shiny one on. The default just makes it look like that. I like the shiny one. And you can have different effects afterwards, like when you're going when you're moving like you have fire and ooh, we can actually buy <sighs> okay let's buy the fire yeah let's buy the fire our ball probably looks really cool you can even change the color a bit I changed mine to green from like the default white you could change the secondary color which I I haven't seen it on any of the balls we have so I'm not really sure what it changed and you could change the inside like when you explode or when you respawn I changed mine to red just because it looks cool, but you could change it to like any color. Actually, purple looks sort of cool, or like a purple pinkest color. That looks really cool too. And it's just really cool. Like, I know I'm probably just repeating myself at this point, which I don't want to do, but still, it's really cool. And I'll just go through the tutorial one time to show this ball off. You can toggle ghosts. I just want to see what's different about this. Let's see. I think when we start going fast, we'll have... I'm I'm not sure if I actually... Yeah, that's definitely different. The fire looks just like a bunch of squares, but I kind of like it more than the little spark thing. It makes me feel like more is going on. Like, this is a lot more important. And can we... Okay, I, I ruined the time for this. <laughs> Uh, if, if I wasn't number three on the leaderboard thing, I would probably get really mad and just retry this until I got to somewhere on that leaderboard. I still did better than most people, although, again, they probably haven't played this tutorial level as much as I did, but still, it's nice to perfect something. Anyways, I think that's gonna be it for now, guys, but this game, it's on Steam Early Access. If you like these types of games, you'll probably love this, because honestly, this game is really freaking cool. It's like, the level design, all the things you can do, the hunting for collectibles, or just like going around getting all the shards. You could, if you could be like a master of getting all the shards, finishing the level with a really good time, and finishing it somewhere on the leaderboard, then like you're definitely a god of some sort that that would be freaking amazing for for any speedrunners out there this is probably gonna be like a really good game to just practice some sort of skills on it's it's really cool i'm i'm definitely gonna do more videos in this game like i'm definitely gonna do more i might even I'm, I'm thinking I might even have a video review of it at some point. But, I want to play it a lot more before I do that, so that might take a little bit. But yeah, this game, awesome. 
go Steam. It's 15 bucks on Steam. If you can get like a key somehow to just go and buy it because honestly this this is really really cool there's a lot you can do there's a lot of levels right now too like I'm not sure if all of these are actually like playable yeah not all of these are playable actually it looks like just sector 5 isn't so if they're all as many levels as sector 0 or like even more then you already have a lot to do you have a lot of levels already there and it's just there, there's a lot to do and you could always replay them always get a better time get all the shards get something to like customize your ball more I don't know I'm just rambling on now this game awesome get it <sighs> anyways guys that's gonna be it for now and I shall see you all later